Hello everyone, you are watching Sahib Academy. If you like our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon for the regular updates and also follow us on Instagram, Sahib Academy. Now let's go to the video. Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to start this new chapter of company accounts that is amalgamation of companies. Now this chapter, amalgamation, it is considered to be the most complicated chapter by the students. Yeah, so what most of the students they try to do is they try to skip this chapter altogether. They don't just study amalgamation at all because they feel it is most difficult and you know it's better to leave this chapter. And they think they will be able to leave amalgamation problem, the small problem as well as the big problem in option in exam. Yeah, in option. But you never know what can happen in exam. What if you get two problems of amalgamation in your exam? What you will do then? If you get two problems, then you wouldn't be able to leave the amalgamation in option, isn't it? So please, that's why, please don't try to skip this chapter. Yeah, and I've seen universities papers, you know, past year papers. In many universities, it has happened. There has been two problems of amalgamation. Yeah, so that's why, please don't try to skip this chapter. And I know it's a bit difficult chapter, a bit complicated chapter. And it's also a bit lengthy. But don't worry, we will go slowly in this chapter in amalgamation of companies. And we will also look topics by topics. Okay, we'll cover topics slowly. And as we go on covering the topics, we are also solve the problems. So you will feel this chapter is not that much complicated. Okay, right. So now let's start off the video. Let's try to understand what is amalgamation. And yeah, let's start this chapter. Now I have written the meaning over here of amalgamation. As you can see clearly, it's very simple. In an amalgamation, two or more companies are combined into one by merger or by one taking over the other, isn't it? This is what is amalgamation. Combination of companies into one. Yeah, combination of two or more companies into one by merger or by taking over the other. One company will take over the other company right so now why do companies go for amalgamation why do companies join together why do they combine together why do they go for amalgamation that is because there are certain advantages if companies do amalgamation if they join together if they combine together that is economies of large scale production yeah if the companies get amalgamated then the production will be at large scale isn't it so of course if the production is at large scale then they will have some benefits and the biggest benefit of large scale production is the reduction of cost right and then avoiding competition if any company is giving very tough competition in the market then one big company can take over the small company like that right so they can avoid competition in the market altogether so that's why not altogether some competition they can avoid by taking over certain companies right and then increasing efficiency also and also expansion yeah so these are the motives that are behind the amalgamation so now amalgamation amalgamation means what amalgamation means ek ho jana mil jana to become one yeah through merger or one taking over the other company this is what is amalgamation combination of companies now let's discuss the three activities that comes under this chapter right let's see that now here are the three activities that are under this chapter see here if i wanted to classify this chapter amalgamation of companies broadly into three activities that are there in this chapter then those are amalgamation absorption and external reconstruction okay these three different activities so now you got to understand these three different activities because you may get a small question on this okay theory question mcq or uh, two mark question one mark question depending upon your scheme of paper right so now here first let's understand amalgamation see here amalgamation is nothing but merging yeah merger it's merger only okay these two terms are used synonymously all right merger and amalgamation so here what happens is let's take this example to understand let's say there were two companies a and b okay and they were merged together what do I mean by merged together? They were amalgamated together. See here, this A company will go into coffin and this B company will also go into the coffin. Yeah, Red Cross, they will die. They will be liquidated and a new company will be formed. These two companies will be combined together to become one company with any name, not necessarily AB limited, any name AB here, right? AB limited. So a new company will be formed 
and these two old companies these companies will be liquidated okay a and b company will lose their existence they will be liquidated to become part of this new company that is ab limited right this is what is amalgamation two companies are merged together to become one okay so these two companies red cross they will go into the coffin they will go into the boxes and they will die they will get liquidated right yes that is what is amalgamation or you can also call that as merger okay merging and then we have absorption now what do you mean by absorption see here it's very simple absorption let's take this example see here let's say there are two companies one big company and one small company p is the small company q is the big company now here what is happening one company is getting absorbed by another company one company is getting absorbed by another company right the big fish is eating up the small fish the small fish is being eaten by the big fish that is what is absorption so here this p company let's say this p company will be liquidated okay it is becoming part of q company q company is eating up the p company so this p company will go into the coffin it will go into the box it will lose its existence and it will become part of q company okay it will lose its core existence p will lose its existence to become part of q company existing company now this is not a new company this both are existing companies only but one company is taking over the other and that p company is no more whatever shareholders and all were there they are becoming the shareholders of q company right it is being merged into this q company and both were existing companies but one will be liquidated only one will be existing all right that is what is meant by absorption okay this company will get dissolved into this company or this company will absorb that company or basically what i say always is that big fish will eat up the small fish yeah so this is what is absorption this company will lose its existence to become part of q company the big company yeah for example if you want to take practical example of absorption then do you know satyam company satyam company satyam company was absorbed by tech mahindra okay you can google it up right that satyam company was absorbed by tech mahindra or one more example is the hutch company before there used to be hutch company a telecom company it was absorbed by the vodafone limited okay so that is what is absorption and then at last you have external reconstruction now what is this external reconstruction see here let's understand this by example external reconstruction is very simple let's say there was one company called abc limited what abc limited now this company let's say there was a fraud in this company or something happened in this company so now there was a bad reputation of this company abc limited so what they can do is they can go for an external reconstruction now what is external reconstruction external reconstruction is liquidating this company the existing old company yeah existing company red cross it is going into the box into the coffin yeah it is being liquidated it is being shut down closed down and a new company will formed a new company will be formed with the same shareholders okay a new company will be incorporated with the same shareholders of abc limited that and it will be with a new name that's the most important thing with a new name pqr just for an example yeah so now here what is happening this abc company is getting liquidated red cross coffin box yeah it is getting liquidated and a new company is formed that is pqr so abc company will lose its existence and new company is formed with same shareholders but with a new name so most it is done because of fraud if frauds happen in any company okay they will change their name to change the perception of the public and also to change or alter the financial structure of the company okay that's the main two reasons of external reconstruction yeah and practical example of external reconstruction see here first uh, before there used to be uti bank what uti bank now that uti bank has become axis bank you know that axis bank before it used to be uti bank okay now it is axis bank so that is external reconstruction they liquidated the uti bank and now they incorporated i mean they incorporated i don't know exactly which year they incorporated the axis bank right so that is what is external reconstruction so we saw three different activities here amalgamation absorption external reconstruction what was amalgamation 
two companies they will lose their existence not only two companies it can be also more than two three four companies okay they will be merged together into one company okay they will be merged together into one company and the old companies will lose their existence a new company will come into existence and then here in absorption what happens the big fish will eat up the small fish and here the existing company will be liquidated to create a new company with the same shareholders but with a new name that's external reconstruction so these were the three activities that comes under amalgamation of companies but guys don't worry all these three are same only i mean the accounting treatment the accounting is same in all these three different activities but you should know that in amalgamation of companies we have got three different activities okay amalgamation absorption and external reconstruction fine it's very simple okay you might also get you know theory questions from these part also right now let's see the overview of this chapter right because in this video we are not going to solve any problems in this video we are just going to have an overview of this chapter now let's have an overview of this chapter amalgamation yeah what we have to learn and what we have to do in this chapter so by now i'm sure you must have understood that there are two point of view of this chapter yeah one is the point of view of the companies which are getting liquidated and one is the point of view of the companies that exists right here in amalgamation these two companies were liquidated to form a new company ab limited and in this case here this company was liquidated because q company ate up p company right the big fish ate up the p company isn't it this p company was absorbed by q company so of course this p company lost its existence and this q company still exists now and in external reconstruction also this abc company i know both are the same companies just with a different name but still in legally right legally this abc company lost its existence and then this pqr company was formed right with a new name with the same shareholders right so now you can say that there's a point of view of liquidating companies and there is a point of view of the companies which are in existence so can you see that the liquidating companies are old companies and this are new company right this company is a new company ab company is a new company q is a new company pqr is a new company yes yes you can say that because this exists now and these companies don't exist they have lost their existence their core existence fine now in this chapter in amalgamation you cannot use these terms old company new company yes you have to refer them right but you cannot use those terms old company and new company right here what do you use is you use technical terms such as transferer companies for the old companies and transferee companies for the new companies right these two terms are used for the old companies and here in new company right so now these a and b these companies will be called transferer and this ab limited new company will be called transferee here this company will be called transferer q company will be called transferee here abc limited will be called transferer old company right and pqr will be called transferee fine and there are also many names okay see here for old company you can also say vendor company vendor company or you can also say selling company because it is being sold to the transferee company it is being sold to the new company right and for new company you can also call purchasing company okay so there are various terms for them but the most common and the most technical term that is used in amalgamation in this chapter is the transferer and transferee but i am sure you will feel these two terms are very confusing because they are almost same so there is a chance that we will get confused and we will use it synonymously you know for new company you may say it's transferer for old company you may say it's transferee yeah you may get confused so that is why there is a small trick here there is a simple trick see here transferer o oh, right o is coming over here so that's an old company transferee e is coming here at last so it's a new company n e w simple yeah you got it right so this is the two point of view here there are two points of view here 
in amalgamation chapter one is the point of view of transferor and the other is the point of view of transferring so now you must have understood that there are two accounting treatments over here one is the accounting treatment under old company books under transferor company books and one accounting treatment under transferee company books okay so here what is happening transferor company this company is being sold off to the transferee company this company is purchasing the transferor company so of course this company has to pay something to the owners of transferor company right it has to pay something and that something which this company has to pay to old company it is called purchase consideration it is called purchase consideration fine it is called purchase consideration okay now this transferee company to whom it will pay this consideration to the owners of transferor company now who are the owners of transferor company the owners are equity shareholders and preference shareholders okay as the case may be equity shareholders or preference shareholders equity shareholders are the first owners and the second owners are preference shareholders right that's what we say right so this is what purchase consideration and you know purchase consideration can be in form of cash it can be in form of shares it can be in form of debentures it can be in form of any other securities okay so it doesn't always have to be in cash right so that is purchase consideration payable to the owners of the transferor company owners are equity shareholders and preference shareholders so now as i said here there are two accounting treatments one is the accounting treatment in transferor one is the accounting treatment in transferee so here in transferee company here the main amalgamation is happening so here the accounting standard 14 is applicable okay so whatever method that is there in this accounting standard 14 which we will study which we will see in the coming videos okay we will have a separate video for this only okay for the treatment under transferee books so we'll see their accounting standard 14 how it works okay and then in the books of transferor here we have to close this because this company transferor company is getting liquidated yeah coffin 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 yes it's getting liquidated everywhere the transferor company so here liquidation proceedings will be applicable okay the company is getting liquidated so liquidation proceedings will be applicable so we will do an accounting treatment with the realization account okay we'll close off the transfer company we'll finish off we will put it in coffin fine so this is the accounting treatment that we have to understand liquidation proceeding applicable over here and here accounting standard 14 is applicable yeah accounting standard 14 is what see here accounting standard 14 it talks about amalgamation right so this is the this is the accounting standard that is applicable to the transferring company right and then purchase consideration also so you will get small problems for the bcom bba guys you will get a small problems of four marks six marks and you might have to use this two methods to calculate purchase consideration there are two methods net payment method and net asset method fine yeah so this is what purchase consideration two methods to calculate and two accounting treatments are there we are going to see that all right so this is the overview of amalgamation chapter okay so in the next video what are we going to do we are going to only focus on the purchase consideration we are going to see both the methods net asset as well as net payment and we are going to solve the problems on both of these methods and then we are going to see the accounting treatments of transferee and transfer in separate again two videos right and then we are going to have full-fledged problems okay so this is how we are going to go about this chapter it's not that much tough chapter as the students think okay so don't you guys worry we will finish up this chapter easily okay all right see you in the next video